guys, Multiclass Gamer here, and last episode we accepted drugs from an old man. Um, they're supposed to make Chunky big, but the thing is, there already exist pills for that sort of thing, so I don't know why Cranky- I mean, like, I get a Cranky one and Chunky become Hunky, but like, so why does he need to give, uh, Chunky drugs for that? Or, his, like, his potions or whatever. I mean, pills are drugs, but whatever. And so now, after that is done, Cranky- Chunky is now going to learn how to use his Chunky instrument from Candy. Doesn't get any better than this, folks. It's Triangle Trample. Stand a little closer, Chunky. No, nope, no, nope. backing off here. Getting out of here. Bye, 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 bye. <laughs> you're you're already involved with somebody, Candy. I'm sorry, I can't do this. Rawr. All right, well, folks, as promised, we have uh, some uh, business to attend to in this episode. And no, it is not number two. Crap, I don't have the number two pad around me. That would've been so funny. No, instead, Donkey Kong has some unfinished business to attend to. Some old, old unfinished business to attend to that pertains to, well, actually, Cranky is supposed to be, supposed to be the one that's doing this. But no, Donkey Kong gets to play as his grandfather or father. It's not really clear like whether uh, Cranky is his grandfather or his, or his father. But Cranky is the monkey, is the Donkey Kong that we played as in the original Donkey Kong Arcade. And now we're about to do it as Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong Jr. Well, Donkey Kong Jr. I suppose? I don't know. Like I said, it's not very clear. Alright, let's do this. Fortunately, the N64 has a D-pad for the sort of thing, but I don't think it's going to be very... all that handy. I did not need to see an upskirt view, thank you very much, but whatever. I guess they felt the need to show that back in 1981, so there you go. Okay, so we got the... Let's see how well I can do with this. It's how high can you get? It's basically all the explanation you need right there. Crap, I probably shouldn't have done that. I usually don't go for the hammer, and there's a reason for that, because... Going for the hammer is honestly a waste of time. Like, yeah, you can destroy all the barrels around you, but, like... It makes it so that there's more barrels around you when you're done finally using it, because you're stuck, you can't climb ladders while using it. I think that's the biggest problem with it, honestly. Okay, so now I'm waiting for him to drop the next barrel below the... on the ladder next to him. Come on! Drop the barrel next to you! Oh god, I, I dropped- I jumped backwards, I didn't know you could do that. <laughs> okay, there we go! Let's get to the top and move on to the next- next, uh... Stage here. Now, 50M. This is not in the NES port of the game. This is this was actually left out due to memory memory um, issues with the N NES. Uh, but regardless, we're going to go left here. Normally, I go right, but the fireball decided to go. Oh God. But yeah, this is the cement factory stage, basically. Okay. All right. I almost got stomped there. How high can you get? I don't know, give me a couple... Uh, <laughs> give me some weed and we'll find out. <laughs> I'm sure someone's already made that joke before, though. Ow. Ow. This, was, this is the most annoying one. Not just because of the audio, but also because this fireball on the right over here, this one is the worst, is like the biggest jerk in the entire game. This fireball could be could mean difference between you um, getting past this level or failing whatsoever. Because it all depends on the random nature of this fireball. And if it doesn't go up this ladder above you, you might as well not go for it because it can quickly rush down to you. Go up the ladder. Thank you. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh god. I almost got hit by the thing. So far, making really good progress here. Now, for every uh, 10,000 points you get, you get an extra life. So, if you... Okay. This part requires a lot of focus, but... I got it! Alright. 
And there we go, it just got an extra life, as indicated by the Mario on the top right. Well, actually, it's called Jumpman in this game. I don't think I need to go over the history of this game, because, like, I already... I've already played Donkey Kong, like, the original arcade version and the NES version... Well, the arcade version once because of the original 2011 Let's Play, but also because, uh... I also played the NES port, like, so many times for this channel. Like, it's insane, so... There's no point in me going over the history of this game. You guys all know about it by now. I mean, if you're, like, from the present... Get... Oh, my God. So, in this level, you have all these... Firefoxes. I think, they're, I think they're called Firefoxes. Like, I'm not entirely sure, though. And they're pretty annoying. Very annoying. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, thank God. Can't believe I managed to do that. But there's... Fortunately, there's hammers. Oh, no! Crap! Well, thank God I got an extra life. Ugh. We're gonna get this. I know we're gonna get this. Okay. Goodbye, extra life, but don't worry. I will avenge you. I will avenge my dead self. Oh, God. Why are they so... I feel like I, I never had this much issue as, like, getting all these pegs. Basically, the goal of this stage is you have to remove all the pegs from the floor. There's, there's eight of them. And you have to be careful, because once you remove them, you have to jump over those... They create gaps, and you have to jump over them. Um, fortunately, I have hammers here to subdue these, uh, Firefoxes temporarily, these Modzilla Firefoxes. So, you know. I was never a big fan of the, of the browser, like, I never use it, so I don't feel bad doing this, you know? I'm Google Chrome forever and ever, y'all. Oh my god. I'm in a pretty bad spot right here. I'm in a very bad spot right now. I'm in a very bad spot. Oh god. I am trapped right now. I'm seriously trapped. Okay, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. I have a chance here. I still have a chance. Well, there's still the one below me. That's the issue. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, no. No, don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, my God. I was seriously thought I was done for there. Oh, we're not quite done yet. We still got one more peg, though. And they're going to guard that thing like hell. Well, actually, why would you want to guard hell? Unless you're tar- Unless you're- Wait. Is it Cerberus? Yeah, it's called Cerberus. Oh my god, we're screwed. Because, like, I'm going to run out of time. And if you run out of time, you can't... Oh my god, I'm, I'm, I'm screwed. I'm going to run out of time. I'm done for. No! I gotta do it, play the whole thing over again. Why does the first run always have to be the best one? Like, why? Oh my god. And you have to give me hope at the very end there, too. Ugh! I was right there, man! I was right there! No better word to describe my feelings right now. Don't take that too literally. Ugh. Can you believe that? Eight minutes down the freaking pooper. Okay, we made it all the way back up to 100M again. And I haven't died yet, so that's good. Got an extra life again. All right, let's do this again. Let's do this right this time. But, uh, spoiler alert, once you get done with this, you ain't done yet. No, you ain't done yet. No. I mean, like, yeah, it's gonna kick you out of the game and you're gonna get a golden banana, but no. That is not all you have to do with this arcade machine. Oh, no, no, no. But, uh, let's just, uh, play it by ear here and make it just get to the end of this. Oh, God, now they're gonna hide. Oh. Why you have to do this to me? Also, at least killed some of these Modzilla Firefoxes, because I freaking hate that. Come on, let's exterminate Modzilla Firefox, please. Thank you. This is why you don't want Modzilla Firefox, because it goes right into the hammer. The thing that's going to kill it. It, it's, it goes right into it. It's not smart. Oh my god. <laughs> I say that, and it's, and, you know, and it's smart enough to at least, you know... Well, not quite. I'm all, uh, oh wait, oh my god, we got this, we got this, yes, finally, <laughs> yes. I say as if I've been playing this for an hour and I haven't, like I literally just, like this is only the second attempt, so I did just fine actually. Digging a bone. No, I'm just kidding, shut up. Okay. 
here I'm happy. So let's, uh, um, what does that mean? Uh, whatever. Uh, there we go. There we go. I did it. <laughs> Banana. Don't. Don't keep calm. But that's not it. Oh, that's not it. Oh, it's not it. Squawk, now you've warmed up. How about I'm trying to win a unique special prize by completing it again? Just two coins to play again. Bark once. Once. I like to make this perfectly clear. The game only charges you once for playing again. So no, you're not going to run out of coins just by doing this. Don't worry if you failed miserably. But nevertheless, oh god, this is the worst part because you have to play the game on level 2, so it's going to be harder than it was before. So if you struggle with level 1, then you're screwed. But you need to do this in order to beat the game. Or complete the game. Well, actually, no, you need this game. You need this to beat the game. Like, just to beat the game. There it is, a Nintendo coin. They replaced a uh, Pauline Sprite with it. So instead of looking up a girl skirt, you're looking up a coin skirt. Honestly, I can't complain with that either. I can think of some uh, greedy CD CEOs that do that all the time, you know? Oh god. What are you looking at, Lau? My cat's staring at me right now. I wonder why. Oh, you know I love you. God, if it wasn't for that cat, I don't know where I would be right now. <sighs> you don't know how much it means, like when you have a, like when you're, you have like nobody to hang out with, with outside of work and like the closest friends and, you know, family members are, like thousands of miles away from you. And all you have is that one cat so just sitting there on your bed, like looking at you. You have no idea how much that means for, means to me. Cause like real talk, like before I had this cat, I actually hated living alone. Like I could not handle it because like it was just so. I, I just got very lonely. I never thought I would, but I did. Oh, oh God! Like how? Oh my God! How'd that barrel not come into my path? Okay, let's try. Do this. Okay, so basically, as I said before, you get a life for every 10,000 points you get. Um, so you get points by completing levels faster. As you can see, my bonus starts at 6,000 there. So if I, if I were to complete this stage immediately at that, at that point, um, I would get 6,000 points. But you see, it subtracts 10... Oh god, jeez, I got a lot of points there. Um, it subtracts... Uh, 100 points every couple seconds and once you run out of your bonus there you die because you run out of time um, but you also get points by, by picking up these random uh, items that like Pauline items that are scattered across the stages you also get points by destroying enemies with the hammer so that's basically how the game works okay we're almost there 75 M I can do this I can do this I've already got an extra life too actually I think you get more time though, like on as you get into later levels. I could be wrong though. I don't know what time I, how much time I start off with in the first level, but I don't know. Come on, go up the ladder. Go up the ladder. Thank you. Thank you. Oh god. Everything's faster in the second level, so this part is actually a lot harder. You gotta time it just right. So like position yourself correctly too. No oh, god. Came very close to getting hit there. All right, we're actually getting fairly close to getting a second life here too. So I'm gonna go for those lost items just in case, just to save myself. Oh god, he's rush. Oh, okay. I was gonna say he's like he's rushing straight for me there. Oh god. Okay, so I've already got the bomb path. Awesome, awesome, awesome. That's great. That's a great start. Okay, let's get these two out of the way. 
I can do this. Yes, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> oh my god, I can taste it. I can taste it. I can taste it. Victory. I can taste victory. Oh my god, we're so close. We're so close. So close. So close. Okay, how can I possibly screw up right now? How can I possibly screw up? Well, I won't. Yes! Yes! <gasps> Second try, both times. I can't believe this. Almost kind of sad too, like, because I know you guys are probably expecting like to get another hour-long bonus video. Well, no, no, you ain't. That's probably how many views that thing got too, like if any. Um, I'm very, very happy right now. So, uh, uh, there's not much I can do with three letters. Like seriously, uh, here, let's just do this. We'll just go classic, classic ABGN right here. There we go. Perfect. As perfect as ever. And there it is. The Nintendo coin. Oh, it's so satisfying to get that every single time. Okay, folks. Wow, we are already up to 18 minutes here. Uh, we'll see if I can see if I have any time for anything. Is there anything to, I don't think there's anything else to do in the storage room, though. I think the storage room is complete at this point. It is complete. As uh, the announcer in Smash Bros. Melee says. I should really LP that game. Well, first I need, I need more practice. Well, first I need to do the first game. I'm actually playing on LPing the Smash Bros. games, if you can believe it. Um, I got headphones here. Did I ever explain these? Basically, they refill your musical, musical energy, and they do it immediately, like, all the way, so... Just all the more reason why it's not necessary to worry about musical energy in this game, like, running out of it. Yeah, it looks like we literally have nothing else to do in the storage room, so... We are good to move on to the next area, but, uh, uh, do I want to... I'll see if Spongebob has anything to do, how about that? Particularly, at number one. Well, he hasn't had anything to drink since he was rescued, so I don't think he had number any number one to do. Okay, uh, you guys are useless. Wait a second. Well, I see a tiny balloon. I mean, the balloon's not tiny. Oh, crap! That's right, we don't have a... We don't we don't have access to Snide yet. We need a number three thing. Okay. Well, can I just... Oh, crap. That's, that's also right. We don't have a Chunky Shuri. I'll have to keep that in mind as well. Because, like, I'm pretty sure that some of Chunky's bananas are actually over here. Like, on this, uh, on the pole. So, I guess uh, Chunky's going to be doing some... Uh, oh, God. Psh Yep. Okay, he's got coins, and he's got his balloon that he needs to shoot. But he doesn't have a shooter. So that sucks. And, uh, a pole and some bananas. Next time on DK64, y'all, Chunky's going to pole dance for us. Sorry, I'm gonna end off this episode here, because I'm just the kind of person that likes to tease people, so there you go.